Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series in control systems. In this video lecture we shall consider the concept, explain the angle condition in root locus, test the following points using angle condition for the system given. G of S H of S is equal to K divided by S into bracket S plus 2 into bracket S plus 4 and this needs to be tested for the points S equal to minus 0.5 minus 0.75 and S equal to minus 1 plus J4. So let me consider the solution for this. So now I have to consider to understand uh, angle condition I need to consider the characteristic equation of a general closed loop system. So let me consider that the characteristic the characteristic equation the characteristic equation of a general closed loop system closed loop control system closed loop control system is. So what is the characteristic equation? It is always uh, there in the denominator. G of S divided by 1 plus G of S into H of S. So now I need to consider 1 plus G of S into H of S. So I need to equate this to 0. This is going to be the characteristic equation of any general uh, closed loop control systems. So this can be rewritten as G of S into H of S is equal to, I can write this as minus 1. So what I am going to get now, now can I write this as G of S, H of S equal to minus 1 plus J0. I am writing this in terms of real and imaginary part. Can it be written? Yes, it can be written in rectangular form. So once this is done, I need to plot this onto the x-axis and y-axis. For that let me consider uh, x-axis and y-axis over here and uh, I would call this I would call this as uh, the real axis and this as the imaginary axis. Now where is minus 1 plus j 0 uh, uh, in this graph? Minus 1 is on to the left hand side and uh, uh, its imaginary part is a 0. Obviously that point should lie somewhere here. So this point I would call it as minus 1 plus j 0. The task is I need to find the angle of this point. For that I should know I should follow this nomenclature. If I move in this direction, what is this direction? This is anticlockwise direction. So if I move in anticlockwise direction, the angles are treated as taken as positive and other way around. If I move in this way, which is clockwise direction, the angles are treated or taken as negative. So with that convention, uh, this would be uh, zero degree at this point and uh, if I come this way this would be 90 degree as I'm moving in anticlockwise uh, direction and what about this uh, this would be 180 degree and similarly moving further this would be 270 degree and if I come back at this point it turns out to be 360 degree correct if I continue this 360 plus 90 what is that it is going to be 450 degree correct and if I move in the similar way 450 plus 90 I'm going to get it as a 540 degree, correct? 540 plus 90, so that turns out to be 630 degree. Are you with me? Yes, 630 plus uh, 90, so that turns out to be 720 degree. Similarly, 720 plus 90 degree, it turns out to be 810 degree. 810 plus 90, it turns out to be 900 degree. Is that okay? So it turns out to be 900 degree. In this way this uh, continues. So we'll stop here and we'll try to understand the concept now. Minus 1 plus, as I said, uh, if I move in anticlockwise direction the angles are taken as negative and if I move other way around the angles are taken as negative. So here this 1 degree could be positive plus or minus 180 degree. Is that fine? So what is 540? 540 I can write this as in terms of 180. So it is 180 degree into 3 which is equal to 540. Similarly what is 900 degree? It is 180 degree into 5. So likewise it continues. So ultimately what is the angle of G of S H of S? So I can write this as G of S H of S its angle 
g of s h of s its angle is written as plus or minus into bracket 2q plus 1 into 180 degree where where what is q q can take the value 0 1 2 and so on is that fine so this is known as the angle condition of the point minus 1 plus j 0 is that fine if i put q equal to 0 it is plus or minus 180 and if i put q equal to 1 i get 2 plus 1 that is 3 into 180 i get 540 degree and if i put q equal to 2 it is 2 into 2 plus uh, 2 into 2 that is 4 plus 1 5 into 180 degree and i'm going to get 900 degree and so on so ultimately angle of g of s h of s is equal to plus or minus 2q plus 1 into 180 degree is nothing but the angle condition or it is also known as odd multiple of 180 degree so the thing is if any point in the s plane has to be on the root locus then it has to satisfy the uh, this mentioned angle condition i repeat the point if any point in the s plane has to be on the root locus then it has to satisfy this angle condition so this is what the concept of angle condition is moving on further i need to test the angle condition for the given uh, uh, system with uh, g of s h of s for the point uh, s equal to minus 0.75 so let me consider that so let me write Uh, g of s into h of s is equal to so what is that it is k this gets divided by so what is there in the denominator i have s into bracket s plus 2 into bracket i have s plus 4 so this is the equation for this i need to test uh, the points which are the points first point is s is equal to minus 0.75 so now in this expression of g of s h of s i replace s with minus 0.75 so i need to find the angle of that what is that i need to just check let me consider that this gets divided by yes what is yes i said it is a point 75 then i have uh yes plus 2 yes is minus point 75 plus 2 so that turns out to be uh, this is minus point 75 yes yes plus 2 that turns out to be minus point 75 plus 2 it turns out to be 1.25 similarly s plus 4 minus 0.75 plus 4 that turns out to be 3.25 is that okay so now the thing is i need to find the angle of this angle of g of s h of s so what is that so now i need to find angle of k what is angle of k angle of k is going to be zero because there is only real part there is no imaginary part that turns out to be zero divided by so now i need to find the angle of uh, these points so how do i find the angle of these points so again let me consider the x axis and y axis where i can explain this concept uh, very easily yes i would consider this point uh, now yes let me place it here yes now Minus point seven five. Where do that point lie? It the point lies at here, somewhere here. So this point. Sorry, just let me consider this again. Yes, where does minus point seven five lie? I can indicate minus point seven five somewhere here. So what is the angle of that? Angle of that is one eighty degree. So I would consider one eighty degree in the denominator. So now let me consider the point one point two five. Where does that point lie? That point lies on the right hand side. So here this could be one point two five. What is the angle of that? Angle of that would be zero here. Correct. So the angle can be taken as zero uh, degree here. right similarly for the point 3.25 3.25 also lies on here right side and what is the angle of this angle of this is also taken as a 0 degree so ultimately what is the angle of uh, g of s h of s it turns out to be minus 180 degree so therefore finally angle of 
g of s into h of s for the point minus 0.75 is i got it as minus 180 degree uh, at the point so let me write at s equal to minus 0.75 so is it there on the root locus yes the answer is it is it is on it is on the root locus so this is quite uh, evident because the angle condition must be plus or minus 2q plus 1 into 180 degree so i got this hence the answer is it is on the root locus similarly let me consider the second one now s equal to what was the point it is minus 1 plus j4 so let me consider the expression g of s into h of s in this i would replace every point with minus 1 plus j4 so i have the denominator and now uh, let me write the denominator term so what is there in the denominator i have a yes yes is minus 1 plus j4 so this is the first term in the second term what do i have uh, s plus 2 that is minus 1 plus j4 plus 2 so that turns out to be 1 plus j4 i'm just writing the simplified answer similarly the third term s plus 4 minus 1 plus j4 plus 4 so that turns out to be 3 plus j4 so these are the points for this i need to find the angle so let me write now angle of g of s into h of s equal to the angle of the numerator would be 0 and i need to find the angle of the denominator so what would be the angle of denominator again let me consider uh, x axis and y axis so this is quite interesting over here so what should be the angle of the point minus 1 plus j0 what where do, where does that point lie so if i consider minus 1 here and uh, j4 point would be here so this would be the imaginary axis and this would be the real axis and i need to find uh, this angle from point yes what is this angle that is what i need to write what is that this complete thing is 180 degree this complete thing is 180 degree and this angle so if i join this point here this angle is nothing but tan inverse of b by a that means i need to get 180 minus tan inverse of b by a b is 4 by a so i need to solve this i need to solve this in the sense 180 degree minus tan inverse of 4 by 1 so if i do that what is tan inverse of 4 that turns out to be uh, 75.06 so ultimately 180 degree minus 75.96 turns out to be the angle i would get 104.03 degree in the denominator for the first point similarly for the second point 1 plus j4 where would that point lie so again let me consider another x-axis and y-axis and let me explain this concept now yes a uh, point is 1 plus j4 1 lies here plus j4 lies here so this must be the intersection is this is the point so i let me join uh, these two things yes so now i need to find the angle which angle this angle so what is this angle this angle is quite simple it is a tan inverse of b by a 4 divided by 1 I need to consider so what is that angle uh, if I calculate it using the calculator uh, using in a degree mode I am going to get uh, this angle as 75 degree 75.96 so let me consider the angle as 75.96 degree similarly the last point last point is 3 plus j4 again indicate that onto the real and imaginary axis and that angle would also be tan inverse of 4 divided by 3 if i do that i'm going to get that angle as a 53.13 degree so ultimately these are the angles all get added up and uh, that will go to the 
numerator so i i may get the angle as 200 and the ultimate angle is 233.126 degree so this angle can be positive or negative so i may get this as plus or minus 233 degree 0.126 so ultimately i get the angle as uh, this much so therefore i can write con i can conclude that uh, angle of g of s into h of s i would get this as this is not equal to plus or minus 2 cube plus 1 into 180 degree that means 233 degree is not an odd multiple of 180 degree hence the point s equal to minus 1 plus j4 is not is not on the root locus it is not on the root locus so ultimately this is the conclusion yes i have ex i have explained this numerical uh, very much step by step i hope you people have understood if there are still any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section and i am happy to answer those doubts thank you so much for watching